uh, down here at the river, been working on putting in a new pump and pressure tank. Uh, the other one was completely shot. It froze up over the winter, ran for hours, and it was just done. So yesterday I started working in the morning. I got the uh, little pressure tank out, the pump out. I uh, disconnected the wiring, cleaned everything out. <clears throat> Uh, there is a large PVC, an inch and a half supply pipe comes out of one side of the um, out of the ground. Uh, you can see down in here. There's it's just a big section of shallow well pipe. So the supply comes out at one and a half inch PVC, uh, and then it goes into the house half inch copper. <clears throat> Neither of which uh, were in that great a shape. The PVC, someone in doing a repair one time before, had cut it very close to the wall. Um, I, I had just enough pipe that I was able to put a repair sleeve over that and uh, then come out and reduce down to an inch and a quarter, which goes into the pump. Uh, so next time if and when that thing needs to be repaired again, I'm going to have to do what I ended up doing now with the other side, which is the side going into the house, the copper. I uh, left about six inches of that copper pipe when I cut out the old pump uh, because I wasn't sure how much of it I was going to need. And I worked and worked and was just starting to get everything set up to hook up the new pump and in a moment of not paying attention I stepped down into that hole and I stepped on the copper pipe which stretched it, bent it, deformed it and uh, of course I plan to connect to that with a PEX shark bite connector which requires a nice smooth round pipe. So I called my son up in Richmond and he brought down my Dremel tool uh, so I could use that with a cutoff wheel to get up into where the pipe was uh, while I waited for him. Thanks to some uh, godsend on YouTube who gave me the idea to drill holes with a uh, air hammer, uh, I'm sorry, a masonry uh, bit with a hammer drill uh, in a circular pattern around the hole and then go at it with an air hammer. Um, that worked out good. So I opened up the hole to probably two and a half, three inches in diameter so I could get up around the pipe. Uh, I cut it off uh, with the cutoff wheel on the Dremel tool. Uh, I crossed my fingers. I, I, it was down in the bottom of the hole. I'm six foot four. I can't really get down into the very bottom. But I crossed my fingers and put the shark bite on there and it seemed to hold. And So anyway, I plumbed the whole thing in. Got it turned on last night and as you have already guessed, it was spraying water out of the side. Uh, so this morning I've come out and I have cut the uh, plumbing and under the electric and lifted the the pump and the tank back out of the well uh, and um, attacked that problem. I dug on the outside of the tank. I wanted to try to get down and see if I could find the copper and I couldn't seem to find it. It wasn't where it appeared like it ought to be so I figured it must bend somewhere. So I got down in the hole with the masonry drill, uh, the hammer drill with the bit, and the air hammer again, and opened up the hole quite a bit more um, until I finally realized that I was looking at a root laying across the uh, copper pipe, a root that I happened to recognize from my hole digging experience. And uh, so I went back out, dug some more on the other side, and was finally able to open up the hole and find some good copper pipe on the outside. <clears throat> it's probably a good thing because there's uh, several thick roots that are laying right on the uh, copper pipe. So I'm going to be able to clear those out. Um, so I've stopped at this point to talk to you. And I'll show you now uh, my hole. and uh, That didn't sound good, did it? I'm going to show you the hole in the pipe over here, uh, the roots. And then I'll go back to the time lapse and on we go. See you in a minute. Okay, I'm standing down in my hole. Ugh, again, that sounds wrong. Uh, here is the, the shark bite fitting that was leaking. 
you can see there's a pretty good sized hole around there now. Am I getting this? Yep. Uh, shark bite, copper pipe behind it. Big hole now. Um, so if I get down in here, I think you can see the roots that are back here laying across that pipe. Um, so it'll be good that I have an opportunity to get those out. Uh, and you can see daylight on the other side. Um, I was able to get down and dig and find the pipe. So let's come out. And here, there's the, the roots. Looking down in the hole. Uh, there's my pipe down there. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm upside down. So, anyway, here's the PVC with the sleeve that I put on there, which uh, was not leaking, so that's a good thing. Knock on plastic. Um, this is all new. This is all new. This is the filter head. Bypass for the filter. Uh, this will be the normal flow of water. Electric, that's the original one. Doesn't look pretty, but everything was sound inside. Uh, this was the piece that was down here in that shark bite connector. So shut off to the house. Uh, and then this one, uh, this back one, lets me uh, drain the, the water coming back out of the house if I need to relieve pressure. And uh, I'm going to turn off, go back to time lapse, and hopefully wrap this thing up. Bye. the finished project. Um, got a new set this down. Uh, new pump uh, with a pressure gauge. New pressure tank. Uh, this is a ball valve that will let you prime the pipe going to the well. Uh, this is a check valve. Uh, here's the prime for the pump. Uh, I have a I have a ball valve like the one over here that I'm going to put right here. This one's got a little leak. Not a big deal. Uh, so I'm going to put a ball valve there, so if you have to prime the pump, you just open the valve and you prime it. Uh, this is all the new plumbing. This is a whole house uh, Pentec Big Blue uh, water filter. It's a 5 micron filter. Uh, this is the bypass, so if you close these two valves and open this one, uh, you can bypass the filter altogether. Uh, there's the new... Uh, line coming out here to this new hose bib. I'm going to shut off here. Down in there where you see that foam sealant is where I had to crack open the pipe. Uh, maybe you can also see there's a ball valve closing off the supply to the house. And then one down on the very bottom which is just used to drain the line if I need to do that. Uh, so that's it. A lot of work, a lot of frustration, but it's working good now. Hopefully it'll uh, last as long as the other one did. So, bye for now. <laughs>